Dear fellow shooters, in this video I will present the results of some testing I've been doing on positioning of the Garmin Zero C1 relative to the rifle. So there's a couple of questions uh, that I wondered about and uh, I want to say straight away that the first part of the video is going to be uh, relatively simple and then there's a uh, the second part is maybe a little bit more, more nerdy but uh, I'll let you know when you can skip if you're not into the nerdy stuff. So I'm going to be talking about um, basically where you can position the, uh, uh, the chronograph and in the second part what impact it has on accuracy and precision of the measurements. So but first things first, uh, a question came up uh, on the channel and so I got curious about uh, how far away from a rifle Will the chronograph pick up the shot? So I went to the range today. Okay, so here I'm back on the range. Uh, today I'm interested in figuring out how far perpendicular to the barrel can I place the zero and still pick up the shot. Let me try to show you the setup. So there's a rifle, and by the way, it's a 30 out 6, just so you know that. And then we have a ruler and then the uh, the chronograph on the side and then I'm going to move the uh, the chronograph off to the side until it no longer picks up the shots so that's the idea and so the results of the shooting on the range uh, was that the chronograph when positioned uh, perpendicular to the barrel like in this direction it's going to pick up the shots just fine out until one meter. It will actually pick up on one meter uh, away from the barrel. Uh, what I also found interestingly was that when I moved it further away, like more than a meter, it actually still detects the shot. You can see it on the screen that it detects the shot, uh, but it doesn't register it. So it's not written to memory and doesn't uh, count as a shot, uh, but it will it will kind of realize that or it will detect there was a shot. So that's that one meter. Uh, whether that's good or bad, that's really up to you. I mean, obviously it gives you a lot of freedom uh, to position it further away if you so wish. Uh, on the other hand, if you're really close to other shooters, like less than one meter, it will pick up the shots, which of course you're not interested in. <clears throat> so. Um, now I'll get into the second part, so if you don't want to hear about statistical analysis of precision and accuracy, uh, you can just skip it here. So in this next part, um, and I'll refer to the, uh, to the uh, analysis in the, to, in the video description, I was wondering what happens to accuracy and precision of the readings when you position the chronograph in different positions. So what I did was I set up a tape uh, 25 centimeters from the barrel uh, on, on the side and then another one uh, 20 cent 25 centimeters behind the muzzle and then I repositioned the chronograph uh, to a number of position as you can see in the analysis and I measured uh, a five shot string and I compared that to a 25 shot reference string. And so what I'm trying to figure out is, let's, let's talk about accuracy first. So what is accuracy? Accuracy is the chronograph's uh, ability to accurately, meaning uh, having the, uh, the correct uh, mean value of the readouts uh, compared to reference. Uh, so for example, if the uh, rifle uh, has a true average, which we really don't know, but say that was, you know, 800 meters per second, just as an example, and all the readouts were centered around uh, 800 meters per second, that would be accurate readings. Uh, so that's the one thing I looked into, and uh, the way I tested it was a, with a T-test, so I tested the the averages of the uh, of the muscle velocities measured uh, compared to the um, uh, to the reference string, and so what I found was that uh, out until seventy centimeters perpendicular to the barrel, it's still 
accurate. Uh, something seems to happen when you start moving it backwards. So there's a couple of positions where it's fine, and then there's a couple of places where uh, you see that that's actually different. So I think the general idea here, or the general conclusion from this uh, relatively small test, uh, admittedly, is that it's safe to move it perpendicular out until at least 70 centimeters. So much for accuracy. So the other thing was precision. And so what is precision? Uh, precision is the really the, the, the variance uh, of the measurements. And of course, we don't really know, we can't really say what the variance of the device is, and at least not directly. Uh, what it's really reading out is basically the uh, the addition or the, the, there's two things going into the equation. There's a variation of the rifle itself, which we obviously don't really know what it is, and then there's a variation of the chronograph. And uh, given uh, under the assumption that both those uh, are normally distributed, you can actually just add the variances. And so uh, the idea is that we have the uh, we have a known variance from the reference shot string, and uh, what I'm testing with an f-test is uh, is the variance in these different positions different from the reference variance because that would be an indication that something happens to precision. So again, I went through uh, the, looking at the same shots as I did with accuracy, and uh, I did this f-test, and the finding is actually quite similar to what I found with uh, accuracy, which is that uh, out until 70 centimeters perpendicular to the barrel, uh, precision is uh, unchanged. And again, as it moves uh, along uh, or parallel uh, to the rifle, uh, there's a couple of uh, positions uh, where uh, the, there seems to be an effect on, on precision, which was also what I saw with accuracy. So the takeaway, I believe, is that when you use the chronograph, you want to make sure that your uh, uh, measurements are as accurate and precise as possible. Uh, you can absolutely move the chronograph to the side. And I will say 70 centimeters is actually probably more than you would ever do, because then it kind of becomes hard to actually read the, the screen if you want to do so. And similarly, if you go backwards, that's probably something at least based on this uh, little test that you will probably avoid. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.